What's going on, Cowboy Nation? If you're anything like me right now, you got a big old smile on your face, a big Chuck E. Cheese smile that you can't wipe off because the drama with Nez is over, man. Five years, $70 million, $45 million guaranteed going to Des Bryant, man. That's a lot of dough. Jerry opened the checkbook and gave him the money, man. Just like in Jerry Maguire. Show me the money. Des, why don't you show me some money now? How about that? That'd be real nice. <laughs> the funny thing is I read a story that Jerry and Stephen Jones actually flew down to Rock Nation, which is in New York, I think. And they actually ironed the whole deal out last night on Tuesday the 14th. And it just didn't get signed until Wednesday the 15th with like an hour left to go on the deadline. I'm sure they might have had, you know, some uh, little minor things to tie up here and there. But the deal was basically done last night. And they just kind of let the media twist in the wind trying to get information and things like that. Which I, can't, I actually find it kind of funny to see, you know, all these guys trying to get the information, you know, trying to report to us and everything like that. But anyway, it's a done deal. And I'm very glad it happened because I can't imagine going into training camp without Des Bryant, man. I mean, seriously, that guy is the heart and soul of the football team, man. He gets everybody to practice at a higher level, just like Michael Irvin did in the 90s. They say Michael Irvin was the heart and soul of the 90s Cowboys. If you listen to Troy Aikman and Emmett Smith, I mean, that's all they say. He got them to practice at such a high level that that's why they were successful. And I believe that to be true with Des Bryant. I believe he does the same thing for this Cowboy team. He gets them up. He gets the practice level up. And that's why they'll be successful. Des is the heart and soul. I remember, I think it was two years ago, a game in Detroit where we had a big lead on him and we actually lost the game because Romo threw a couple ill-advised picks. You know, whatever. Don't want to get into shit like that. But anyway, Dez is on the sideline screaming at everybody on the sideline, including Tony. And I remember Fox... Uh, Brian Billick, the old Ravens head coach, saying what a disgrace Dez is, screaming at the quarterback on the sideline, you do nothing but hurt your team. And then the audio comes out the next day or two, and it's Des Bryant screaming at Tony Romo, telling him, we're the best in the league. We're the best in the league, Tony. That's what he's screaming at him. So he's not some whiny crybaby T.O., throw me the ball, throw me the ball. That's not him. He gets everybody pumped up, man. That would have just left a bad taste in everybody's mouth if he wasn't at training camp, man. It's just like a whole momentum thing. You know what I mean? After last year, everybody had the Cowboys at 5-11, and 6-10. and 10. I mean, I even heard somebody predict 4-12 and 12 for that football team. Now we all know what happened. Fast forward, win a playoff game, go into Green Bay, almost win that game. To not have Dez going into camp would have been terrible for this team. So I'm glad he's there, that's for damn sure. And I couldn't imagine what this offense would have looked like, especially losing DeMarco Murray to free agency, if Des Bryant was actually going to hold out real football games for 10 weeks. I can't imagine what this team would look like. I mean, I swear to God, what the hell would we do? Try to run the ball a lot. I mean, that's without a doubt. Who knows what the running game's going to be like this year without DeMarco Murray. I mean, we get Joseph Randall back there, Lance Dunbar. And I keep forgetting about McFadden. But still, it's Darren McFadden, all right? Let's not get too pumped up on Darren McFadden, all right? But what the hell would that offense look like? It would look terrible. Terrence Williams would get doubled all the time. Jason Witten would be bracketed by a linebacker and a safety. Who's getting the ball? There's one guy that might have benefited from Dez not being on the field, and that's probably Gavin Escobar. But I don't want to see that happen. And we never have to see it happen, so I'm thankful for that. Just stay healthy, Dez, and the rest of the Cowboys, and we'll be good. Let me knock on wood, man, because I don't want to jinx him. So, training camp's only a couple weeks out as the Cowboys head out to Oxnard, California to prepare for the season, which is right around the corner, man. I can't believe football season's almost freaking here. They're heading out to Oxnard. I kind of wish I was going there with them so I didn't have to deal with this New Jersey humidity. <laughs> so terrible Oxnard's like 70 degrees all the damn time man but anyway if you like what you've seen here Cowboys talk video game commentaries hit that subscribe button hit a like on your way out if you like the video that's greatly appreciated and I'll see you guys on the next one hopefully peace